Now the piston. Remember, oil hold to the top on the rod and the piston. Ring and drive it in. That's about all they are to uh, installing the piston. Now, we... Uh, the next step is to fit the rod onto the crankshaft. It's kind of hard to film, and and but it, at this point, you just stick your hand up in there, guide the rod onto the uh, crank, and uh, you know it's kind of it's kind of feel as you go. So I've, I've 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 got that I've got that down there like that, and then you take the hammer and you okay I felt it I felted it fit up to the crankshaft, and it uh, and all the all the time you you have to make sure that the shims are turned the correct way. Kind of one of them. Feel as you go. Now the and those feels really good. The the easiest way to do that is to drive the piston backwards while you are holding the the rod to the throw on the crankshaft. The thumbs on the top. The two fingers are on the bottom to keep the shims from rotating. You do not want to get the shims, one of them, halfway around and it lock up on your crank throw. And and and, and I know just describing it like that right there, it's kind of haphazard. But if you was actually doing it, you would you would understand. And what I'm doing is turning the flywheel a little bit, turn the crank a little bit, and then just keep bringing the piston back, holding uh, holding the rod and, and shims until I get it all the way to the back here to make it easy. And believe me, this is not complicated. Okay, now we 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 right there. So what I'm going to do is hold those two pieces of tubing that I put on there to hold the bolts backwards I'm get a hold of those and then I'm going to bring the piston on back as far as it go Now the the rod onto the crankshaft is is rotated all the way to the rear of the crankcase. Right there it is, looking at it. 
Okay, hey, now we're always to the back, so I'm going to get those tubings off of there. And then, now it's just a matter of holding the bolt back, turn it a little bit to make sure it is indexed in that flat place up in there. Push your shims forward, do the same on the bottom, make sure it's indexed, push the Push the shims forward and don't let them turn around. Okay. Now let's look up in there with a flashlight. Make sure, confirm that everything's right. And it is. Grease on the bearing cap liberally. Grease her up. The mark goes to the top, remember. Okay, now the bottom one, it actually wanted to go forward, so I had to rotate it a little bit, get my hand up in there, and pull it back. Now also, the top one is wanting to do the same thing, but I can tell that bottom one is correct. So I want to capture it right where it's at. So I'm going to put the... I'm going to, this this first little little thin little thin nut I'm gonna get it right on that bottom right there so that don't get away okay now I can I can rotate the crankshaft without that top bolt falling out and now I can put my hand up in there behind that pull it back and lock it in that flat place uh, fill of the top right there make sure your shims are in the right orientation and put the thin nut on there it's quite easy you just have to imagine what you're doing <laughs> 